the northern hemisphere is marked as L. So it indicates the latitude in the northern hemisphere. The value of the latitude in the southern hemisphere is marked as S. So it indicates the latitude is in the southern hemisphere. Remember it. Now we will discuss about important latitudes. First we already First we already mentioned that is the equator. So again, equator is the main line for important parallel that dividing our earth into two equal half. Okay. Its a value is zero. Okay. Zero degree. Okay. It is a numbered zero because it is the main equator or main latitude that divides. Longitude to equal half. Next, we move to Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Cancer is an important latitude that lies in the northern hemisphere. So, its value and degree are degree that is 23 and 23 and half degree. Degree of Tropic of Cancer is 23 and half degree north. L indicates north and below the equator same way tropic of Capricorn its value and degrees are 23 and half degree south S indicate it is in the southern hemisphere then another important latitude in the northern hemisphere that is Arctic Circle another important latitude in the northern hemisphere is Arctic Circle. Its a degree and value is 66 and half degree north. Same way in the Antarctic Circle. Same way that is same way in the Antarctic Circle with the value and degree 66 and half degree south. The extreme north 90 degree north that is north pole and in the extreme south 90 degree south. That is the south pole. Okay. So again the important latitudes are equator, tropic of cancer, tropic of Capricorn, Arctic circle, Antarctic circle, then north pole and south pole. So that we have to draw and by heart. Okay. Now we move to the heat source. Now we move to heat source. The area that between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is getting direct sun rays. So it is with the maximum heat and light. This area with the maximum heat and light. Then when we move towards up, that means from Tropic of Cancer to Arctic Circle, the sun ray is slanting. Okay. So the light and heat is little bit less compared to the middle. And when we move again up in the north, the sun light getting very less and less. Or it become very less and less. So the, uh, the center, so in the middle, temperature is maximum. So it is known as storage zone. It is the hottest zone. When we move up, then it is temperate zone, where temperature is moderate. The last zone, that is frigid zone, the temperature is very less and it is the cool region or coldest region. So this division is based on depending upon the sunlight and the heat. Now next we have we can discuss next we can discuss about the longitude. Longitude are the imaginary line that running from north to south. They are semi-circle line. It is very difficult to number the longitude. For convenience, we took the zero degree longitude or the line that moving through the 
green which observator it is very difficult to number the longitude so for convenience we took the line or the meridian the moving or passing through the green with observatory of london as 0 degree longitude it is also known as prime meridian towards east there are 180 longitude sarge and towards west there are 180 longitudes so total 180 plus 180 it may 360 longitude Okay, the longitude that in the eastern side is known as the eastern side is known as or the longitude that lies to the east of the prime meridian is known as a, the area that the east of prime meridian is known as eastern hemisphere and the part to the west of prime meridian is known as western hemisphere now another interesting fact all meridians are met at poles 